Ben Psycho. <coughs> I was just down there also checking if other guys are already in. Mm. Everybody is already in. It's going to be a very, very heavy morning. Ben Psycho has already checked in <laughs> front and center with a uh, lovely um, winter coat. Uh, uh, winter coat, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we call it... Well, call it the winter coat. Yeah, that's what I what do you call it? This is called kaboot. Oh, oh, uh? kaboot. <laughs> kaboot. Ni kaboot. Kaboot. <laughs> uh, you know kaboot? <laughs> kaboot. <laughs> ben Psycho, welcome to Hot 96. Yeah, yeah thank mm. you very much. Karibu sana. Mm. Karibu sana. It is also Sante. called the Hag coat. It's called the camel coat. Oh, oh this oh, is called camel the camel coat. coat. Yeah. Camel coat. Oh, in your wale watu wa nini? As opposed to camel. Tate Tito 2. Ben <laughs> <laughs> Psycho. Yes, sir. Since you went solo. Yes, jealous. From your group. Yes. You know, you was in a group mm, called? Oh. Uh, I, was in a, I was in a boy band called Christ Psychos. And we, we were singing since uh, 2010. Uh, we won awards and all that stuff. But mm. last year, I decided to go, to go solo and pursue my own uh, music career. Mm. And so it's been a good journey since then. Tough. Yeah, in fact, uh, the fa the song that we just played right now was my first premiere song as a solo artist. Okay, it was, ule ule. It's called Lil Lil. Lil. Oh, what? Uh? <laughs> 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 my, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my first song. It didn't do quite well. But now, from there, since the early of this year, I did a song called Neema, mm -hmm. then One Touch, then now Nashukuru. Those ones are the ones that I've been doing really, really fresh. So the journey has been good. It's been a journey of growth. Yeah. Why did you split? Why did you choose to go so low? Uh, the, the, the reason why is that we got to a point where a, a lot of people, want, they, the other guys wanted to pursue their own things. So mm -hmm. they one went to production, the other one went into fashion. So I remained with music because I also wanted to brand, to start branding my music in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And that's what started with this year with Neema now. Mm -hmm. and one mm -hmm. yeah. So after winning awards and awards and awards, then you just decide to go solo. You know, there's a time you guys won the group of the year, is yes, it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I remember. The group of the year. Yeah, uh, I think there was, you know, there's, there's there's a certain potential. You feel like you're not, uh, you don't, you're not achieving as much as you're doing all that stuff. So when I went solo, is when now I started pursuing all all that stuff and mm. I'm pushing my music to to different styles, different levels. H how has it been? How has it been? The first time it was hard, eh? Because mm. now you know, once you're in a group, uh, people love you in a group. But now once you go solo, they want to see you prove yourself. Mm. Uh, they, you drop the first jam, they're like, "That's not enough, man. Give us another one. Confirm, confirm." So. It, the first the first ones were were really tough but now people people are now starting to catch up and mm. you know now it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a wave mm. do you think you've shaken the gospel industry in a in a way yes 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 uh based on the my performance this year the songs that i've done are are, are doing well mm. so i feel like now i feel like the gospel industry is really open now for for a lot of new new cuts in the game uh -huh. yeah, i feel like we had left that <coughs> spot for for a couple of people mm -hmm. who uh it's just like those people and then a like huge gap <laughs> then all the other people so mm -hmm. i feel like people now need to be ready mm -hmm. any yeah. regrets about leaving the group no 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 i don't regret i'm very happy actually mm -hmm. yeah i'm very satisfied uh -huh. mm -hmm. having left the group yeah wow wow it's tough huh it's it's, it's tough. tough and pressure it's and pressure it's, uh, it's just like you leave this uh group this week eh? mm. this week to oh. You'll be solo. I'll be solo. Yeah. You can imagine how uh, how it will be tough for Will me. you be able to do it? I, I will try. I will uh, release a couple of tracks from Monday <laughs> to Tuesday. On Wednesday, I will have the hang of it. And uh, just, just run. Uh, but let me ask you. Yes, Jalas. There's a lot of uh, these um, uh, stories in the gospel industry. Yes. That today... The music you guys produce and the music that you guys put out there. Mm -hmm. If today God was seated in an audience mm -hmm. and the God, uh, gospel artists are told now, come, mm -hmm. <laughs> perform for God. Very few people <laughs> would want to step on that stage because of the music that they produce. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Well, I don't think that's true because... Um there's always a sound for every for every generation. Mm. So uh, uh, when you look at the 50s, there was the sound. When you look at the 40s, the 90s, mm. the early 2000s. Mm. So I feel like even the millennials have their own sound. There's a way you communicate to them. I, I think sound doesn't really matter at the end mm. of the day. What you communicate is what really matters. So if, if people want to be spoken to this way, mm. you have to speak to them that way. I mean, I remember when, when Jesus used to speak to, to fishermen, used to use parables about fish, when he mm. used to speak about other people. You, you use relevant relevant examples so that they can suit the people that you're targeting. So mm -hmm. I feel like we're on the right track with, with our sounds.
Are you sure? <laughs> yes. 100%. You're not convinced. You know, mm. let me tell you. Mm. The gospel industry yeah. right now mm. has more controversies than the secular industry. True or false? Now, that no, is no, true or false. That is true. That is true. Yes. Yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. From, uh, from, uh, Willy, uh, Willy Paul. <laughs> not Willy Paul. Uh, Willy Paul does not have controversy. Uh, is the controversy. <laughs> is the controversy himself. Eh? Jimmy Gate. Uh, Jimmy Gate is also another one. <laughs> he just released a new song called uh, CCTV. Chebukati, Nachiloba, CCTV, Inawa, Nakombe. You know. I haven't heard that. Uh, you haven't heard CCTV. It? Look for CCTV somewhere so that mm. we shall also play it. Mm. Uh, is that also the direction you want to go? Or like, the question is, uh, does controversy sell? Does controversy sell? Mm. Uh, in part, I, I blame... Well, this is this is not an excuse, but I blame also the fans because whenever you see, mm. like for example, you put you put a just a kawaida post uh, on Facebook or mm. Instagram, mm. people respond less. Mm. Then you put a controversial post, everyone responds. So uh, to to some point, also the fans also love this. Which controversial post. post have you put up? You Myself, yourself, yeah. I've never put up a, a controversial post. I think when I told people to vote for Nyashinsky, mm. yeah, people people are like, hey, why are you supporting a secular art artist? Ni, 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 ni. But I was like, yo. Pe people actually question that. Yeah. Some, we have very serious Christians. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I could call them. We have very serious Christians. <laughs> we have people with double standards. Yeah. Double standards. So, you know, you know, for Nyashinsky to win that award, it means it's for the whole industry. It's yeah. not really for Nyashinsky. So, and being in the same industry as him, I'd, mm. I'd really want the best for him also because that means it will open more doors for, mm. for, for myself also. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, that one uh, sent some controversies. Yes, yes. There's controversial posts uh, mm. there. Or even when you post uh, maybe with female fans. Uh, do you have a, a prayer partner? <laughs> I don't, I don't call them prayer partners, but I yes, I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are, the gospel industry has been hiding uh, under the pretext where if me and if I'm a gospel and artist right. and me and Cynthia are having nocturnal meetings yes. uh, and I want to bring it out, yes. I use the word prayer and over partner oh, the, with my prayer partner with my prayer partner kidogo kidogo tibim. <laughs> Umepiga na ume ndani 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 kabisa you see this is a very different kind of interview my friend we are not the kind of people who ask you when did you start what are you planning no 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 I what inspires you what inspires you <laughs> go inspire yourself but here we talk about real issues dealing with real people mm, in real time done. I love it like that so you have a girlfriend Yes, yes, yes. I do have a girlfriend. Myself. Mm. Oh. Have you brought her out to the public so that people mm. can actually know that this is uh, uh, my girlfriend? Yes, yes, I've done What that. is her name? <laughs> one zero zero. Oh, one zero, one zero, one zero. zero. Yeah, she's a, she's a YouTuber, so uh, mm. we, it's it's all of us. It's all so my You give us out out of your girlfriend's YouTube, please, so that people can go <laughs> yeah, check it out. Yeah, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Mm. She's called one zero zero. Mm. It's about lifestyle and mm. fashion and all that stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So oh, it's, it's where do you go to church? I go to church at K3C, Kileleshwa Covenant Community Church, Chapel. Eh? Kileleshwa Covenant Community Church. Okay. K3C. K3C. <laughs> In Kile. <laughs> <laughs> Which church do you go to? K3C. KC3. K3. <laughs> KC3. <laughs> KC3. Uh -huh. Kileleshwa like Covenant Community Church. It's a nice number plate. Uh, okay. <laughs> a nice number plate. <laughs> it's a nice number plate. Okay. <laughs> KCC3. Yes. Uh, so, so, so le, 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 let me ask you. Yes, let me ask you, Ben. Yes. Uh, the gospel, uh, the gospel industry. Yes, sir. Uh, and the several awards mm -hmm. that people win left. Do they determine uh, how successful you are, or the controversies that have also been around the mm -hmm. awards? Yeah. You understand, people are being favored. People, the awards that are just being decided. Do you think it is mm -hmm. what determines how big you are? You know, Jalas, I'd love to say that, um, that oh, no, not really, but to be honest, it's true. Once mm. you win, once you win, like, let's say the male or the raga song of the year, you get, you now tend to have more shows. Promoter ten, promoters, most promoters tend to work with you more. So, at the end of the day, there's a lot of pressure to win such awards because a lot of fans will profile you that way. A lot of, even corporates, they will profile you based on how many awards, awards you've won. So, yes, the, the, the awards do really matter and they determine your place in the industry. In as much as we'd like to, you know, some people tend to say that they don't do it for the awards and all that stuff. 
but they do determine where you are. But they really shouldn't define who you are. They you determine, are, but they don't define. Your top five mm-hmm. gospel artists right now in the country. Uh, my top five gospel artists we have uh, Gloria Pose. Um, Willie Pose? Yeah, yeah. Willie Pose. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pose. You look up to him? I like I like I like I like his musicality. What do you like about his, his Pose's music? Musicality. He is very musical and very talented. Okay, so, so Gloria Muliro, mm-hmm. Pose, mm-hmm. Gloria Pose, uh, Recap, Recap. Um, mm-hmm. We're just coming in next. Yes, yes, yes. We're coming in next, and then there is. Uh, I still love Emoji. Emoji. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now uh, who's the other? Who's the other gospel artist? Um, uh, uh, you want to tell me you don't feel anything about Bahati? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that last. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just you saying. are almost at number <laughs> five, five. And, and, and you are already at. So who else is a gospel artist? Who but, else is a gospel but, artist? But, 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 it's it's it's, uh, it's more of a musicality preference. In fact, I feel like, and and I'm not, I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like a lot of secular guys are now doing more more serious music in terms of musicality more than a lot of <coughs> more than a lot of guys even in gospel. Mm-hmm. What yeah. do you think? What do you think of Wahoo's latest? Sifa. Mm. Uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good jam. It's yeah. a dope jam. It's a it's a dope jam. It's it's, it's gospel, right? It's gospel. It's yeah. a gospel no, she, song. She just she got saved the other day. <laughs> saved from what? <laughs> you see, Christ. <laughs> let me tell you how Christ works. Okay. The Christ came uh, to the earth. He died for us on the cross. Okay. You remember Christ's death on the cross? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Can I take you through that? No, no, no. Okay. I, I'm aware. There was a lot of stories when Christ was around. He was calling himself the King, uh, the King. Okay. So he had a very very a heavy case in front of the Supreme Court, which was led by Herod and Pilar, Pilato. P- Pontius Pilate. Of, of, of Pilato in Israeli <laughs> for that matter. So this case was brought in front of Herod, who said, can you take him also to Pilar? To, to Pilar. Pilar. Mm-hmm. Pilato looked at issues. He did not see. The, the case could not meet the threshold. So he washed his hands. He washed his hands and said, you know what? I'm not here. But then Herod yeah, decided that you know he has to be crucified so he died for us you understand okay. he died for us and now the reason why he died for us was for you me and you to see heaven because even before he left he said that his father's home has the so many rooms he has just he just got just mm. going to decide who will stay mm. where i hope i'm not your neighbor in heaven <laughs> now <laughs> now yes uh, if you go for baptism and take Christ as the savior of your heart and you start living the Christ way, you'll get a chance to see heaven. So where does saved come in? Eh? And what are we being saved from? <laughs> Uh, ben, 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 this will like, take too long. Yeah, eh? this will take a while. So, so, so we will play one of your songs. Who do you have? Neymar. I have Neymar. You have Neymar coming up. Not Neymar. 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 Mm. Neymar. What does it mean? Grace. Neymar. The grace. Uh, God's uh, grace. Grace. Grace is uh, uh, living in God's grace. Is grace here? Uh, no, no, not. Uh, <laughs> please join the line. Yes. <laughs> Join the world of View Sasa Entertainment and enjoy the videos you love. SMS the word View Sasa to 40984. Choose your preferred package plan. Select the amount for your chosen package plan, then click next. View Sasa, connecting you to the videos you love. You now I go with the best, mate. It's the hot breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.